in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed You're going to shout Jesus once. And I want you to start bringing the people out, please. The power of God is ready to move. We're going to do is going to be a quick walk. Let your faith be open. Let, let your heart be open. Let your faith be alive. Jesus is visiting his people. I want to take time and really pray for the sick. But then I need to minister right now very quickly as the Holy Spirit is leading me. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. Please help the ushers. There are several people, the ushers are trained, but no matter how many, they can be limited. So if someone is under the anointing close to you, please do well to bring them out here. That name that is above every other name. Listen, as you shout that name, there are certain people in this place that the doors that have been closed, making things to not work in their life, you have done the best you know to do and doors don't seem to be opening when a door opens all that is left is advancement you can walk through i'm about to pray for you right now the power of god is coming mightily upon you at the count of three one two three shout jesus in the name of jesus doors open doors open 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 that they go forward open bring them out we unlock the doors by prophecy we unlock the doors by prophecy we unlock the doors pray we unlock the doors please bring them out quickly we unlock the doors by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Shalagata branda gata pakarotos koto pratigata. Doors. Many of you will be surprised what is happening to you. I say it again. Doors. By the key of David that can open a door that no man can shut and shut a door that no man can open. Every door that has been shut over your destiny, shut over your life. A father, that door is open now. That door is open now. The door of advancement. A father, be open now. Be open now. God is opening doors in the name of Jesus. That every door that stands before me that should be open. I declare it open by the key of David that is able to open a door that no man can shut. Bring them out. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray. The power of God is coming on many people. And he said, it's an anointing for restoration. Hear me, when that anointing comes on your life, you will be surprised that things that should have happened starts chasing you to look for you again. For some of you, by that anointing, you will be surprised that relationships, opportunities will return by the power of the Holy Spirit. At the count of three, may that restoration mantle wherever you are. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Take that anointing, take that anointing, strange restoration, 
in ministry restoration of your dignity restoration of honor restoration everything that used to walk that no longer walks I command that mantle to fall on you that grace for restoration and I will restore and I will restore and I will restore I'm still praying it again this anointing is coming on many people let there be restoration now son of man can these bones leave it says only thou knowest son of man can this family leave son of man can this ministry leave again son of man can this man of god leave again but i prophesy to you may that anointing come upon you now some of you were seated in the place of honor and something happened in your life and brought you down i command may that anointing take you back to that place may this restoration mantle let it take you back to your place of honor restore 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 we are still speaking restoration lord restore 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 hear me please look up for some of you when the devil attacked you and brought you down he put someone to occupy your place in the name of jesus we dislodge them now anyone sitting on your glory a paraketa sitting on your job sitting on your honor sitting on your sacrifice by prophecy i dislodge them now restore everything that i've lost restore in the name of Jesus, restore. Hallelujah. I'm feeling fire in my left hand and I'm wondering what this is for. There are many of you like physical fire. You will begin to feel it on both of your hands. It's a strange anointing that God is placing on you right now as I'm speaking all over the congregation Shabradikata is a, a kind of anointing this thing is a ministerial grace it's a gift of the spirit that God is granting you man of God prophet of God apostle pastor it's time to carry that grace there is an anointing upon your hands you will walk wonders with it bring them out that anointing is resting upon you I feel fire upon my hands for some of you is a healing anointing some of you is a breakthrough anointing let it come let it come let it come in the name of Jesus let it come your hands will no longer be ordinary hands your hands will no longer be ordinary hands in the name of Jesus hear me this fire is coming upon you it's a grace for multiplication it's not just a healing anointing alone I'm saying it again everyone here who cannot multiply what God gives you that anything he gives you remains at that level I release the grace for multiplication I release the grace for multiplication hallelujah now listen this next prayer is for everybody but please let me beseech you by the message of god you are going to be receiving while you look at your neighbor so that we manage the things that can happen here are we together now
how many of you believe there is a grace for speed if you have never opened your heart to receive the grace for speed please i beseech you by the message of god here is your chance i'm going to pray you will be surprised people will start running that's why i said please help them i decree and declare father that fire that can energize a man a business a ministry and bring speed at the count of three some of you have been delayed in the name of jesus you are about to take that anointing now shout jesus at the count of three one two three speed 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 may that grace come upon you I release speed. No more delay in destiny. No more delay. I don't care what altar has tied you down. I prophesy speed. Speed. Every altar tying you down must release you now. Must release you now. Must release you now. Speed to your destiny. Man of God, experience speed in ministry. Career person, speed in career. Oh. Oh. Hallelujah. Who is Rosemary? I'm hearing a name Rosemary. Is there someone with that name? Your name is Rosemary. Where are you coming from, madam? Come. Rosemary. Jesus. Who is Japheth? I'm hearing a name Japheth. 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 I want to pray for you. Where are you from, madam? This woman. From Delta State. Delta State. I want to pray for you. You came alone? My husband and my daughter. Is your husband here? And my daughter. Come. The Lord is about to turn the life of this family. Please, if he's here, can you call him? Husband, please come. I want to pray for you. The Lord is going to... What do you do? I'm a banker. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. You are considering leaving the bank. Yes, sir. To where? My own company. I'm going to pray for you. You are in the will of God. I want to pray for you. I will not come and speak carelessly like this. Believe me. Because the Lord will elevate you. I will, I, look at the little girl kneeling down too. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands upon you and I pray. I'm praying for you, but it's your wife. The anointing will come on. This is very strange. In the name of Jesus, I declare that you carry a grace, a mantle for favor. I release that grace upon you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ nothing dies in your hands all of you are rosemary i will pray for you 
two of you the power of god is coming on you now that's all right i will pray for everybody i'm seeing two of you right now fire is coming on two of you two of the rosemary's in front here in jesus name i lose that chain i lose that chain i'm seeing a chain i lose it now the name of jesus christ lose that chain now let them go let them go let them go by the power of the holy spirit let them go in the name of jesus hey, 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 hey. where are you coming from i want to pray for you i hope you are not embarrassed madam i'm seeing you holding a basket that is supposed to look like a container anything poured in it goes down what do you do I want to pray for you. Huh? Planning. You are what? I'm into event planning. You are into event planning. I don't know. I'm just saying that I'm seeing you holding a basket, intending to hold a container that everything that is poured there goes down. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands upon you. You came for a miracle service. May this grace rest upon you that will turn your life around and everything fighting you. I curse it right now in the name of Jesus. I curse it now in the name of Jesus. One of you in front here will start shouting loud under the anointing. I don't know why, but God just gave me that word. In front, just in front here. Hello, him, Madonna. let me talk to you this man the one at your back please come your life is about to change hallelujah Kai. god is showing me something that there is someone now please don't come out at random i'm watching in a vision i'm not even seeing the face of the person but I'm seeing like an event. You were rising like on a ladder. Everybody was seeing you and beginning to clap for you. And suddenly I saw what looked like an arrow. It hit what you were holding and you started going down. This person I'm talking about. I hope I'm right, but I think it's a hold on, hold on, hold on. The person I'm seeing in my vision, you are a Yoruba person. Who is who is Wale? 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 Is there somebody like that? Oh, this man. Please come and stand. I know the lion, I know the lamb, I know the lion, I know the lamb, I believe in the lion. I will follow the lion. What do you do, sir? I'm a night consultant. I want to pray for you. I'm seeing a plane leave here and going to UK and coming back and going to UK again and coming back and going to UK again, coming back. Do you have an office there? I'd like you to prepare. This is the next season of what God is doing. Look at me, sir. You are a good man, but it's surprising you how you have not even risen to the level that your expertise should have taken you to. I want to pray for you. You see, but let me tell you some things. Skill is very important, but until your gift is anointed, it will still not bless you. Being gifted and being anointed are not the same. 
your gift must be anointed to find visibility Wale. Mm. let them come sir can i pray for you please lift your hand this man father you have given us the grace to lift and to bless i stretch my hands upon you by reason of this anointing i decree and declare find favor find favor in the name of jesus and everything that fights you i curse it right now in the mighty name of jesus i pray for you my dear brothers here wale the lord gave me that word in the name of jesus there's one or two of you here there is a a terrible demonic attack this is like a conspiracy over what you do in jesus name i stretch my hands and i pray for you right now by the power this is what i'm hearing in my spirit having the readiness to judge every disobedience if your obedience is complete there are some of you that may need to go back and just make things right and get things right but i pray for you mercy is my first prayer and then in the name of jesus by this anointing let there be restoration restoration the power of god is coming on one of you although you came out to receive i don't know what for but there is a call of god upon your life and god has been working on you in the name of jesus i declare may that grace this grace is not for manifestation is the grace for the secret place in jesus name i stretch my hands may that grace come upon you god will make you god will build you until you become a mighty battle axe in his hands in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ every one of you who has stood here in the name of jesus go back and experience restoration in jesus name i pray amen god bless you thank you who is victoria you can imagine that there are you see when i call names like this it's not this is not guessing you can imagine that there are many people who are named like that but i just call as god ministers to me and then also to save time i'm going to pray for you this man is this your wife come What do you do, sir? I'm a lecturer. You're a lecturer. Where? In Covenant University. I want to pray for you. Hmm. The favor of God is real. Oh. When the favor of God rests upon a man, because I'm looking at you and I'm seeing you travel out of this nation, and it has to do with your work, something you are doing. I'm seeing that God is lifting you and you'll be there for a while and that you will, you will connect to strange lifters and helpers. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stand in partnership with the grace upon our Father and the Lord Bishop David Oedipo and I agree with you as a lecturer in Covenant University by the power that raised Christ from the dead, sir, you and your wife, something is coming upon your wife. It is a grace she is going to start having prophetic encounters your wife she will start having dreams and start seeing things and they will happen the way she saw it i declare madam may that grace rest upon you this is victoria okay i'm going to pray for you so sir, in the name of jesus i bless you i pray that whatever whether it is a, a a program or a project abroad you are doing in jesus name may the grace of god go with you and you will go and return a sign and a wonder in the name of jesus christ amen and amen god bless you sir victoria i'm going to pray don't feel i'm not insulting you where eh? but i'm looking at you and i'm seeing manifestations of both human beings and snakes i'm not saying you are please don't miss don't worry i'm going to pray for you because i'm seeing a spirit this thing is it has attracted bad and wicked people to your life i want to pray for you i know you are a lot here right now i command that spirit there are two of you or three of you in fact let them go now 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 
in the name of Jesus Christ this spirit that attracts wicked people wrong people in destiny by the power that raised Christ from the dead be delivered now I set you free do you know let me tell you the truth what is on you is what attracts what come around you are we together now in the name of Jesus I'm praying again every negative placement upon your head that keeps drawing negative things trouble to your life I declare be free now be free now be free now please lift your hands everybody God bless you you can return back to your seat everyone a mighty deliverance is going to happen here now before we pray for the sick what is deliverance a separation between you and a spirit or you and a limitation it is not always about spirit a separation between you and conditions that are unfavorable at the count of three the power and fire of God is going to fall here right now and I want you to bring those people out father anyone here and any family any individual who is under the influence of negative spirits making Zion to be called an outcast in the name that is above all names and by the blood of the eternal covenant every legal ground that satan has over any individual or any family by the blood of the eternal covenant as you shout the name jesus i declare that your liberty comes are you ready now one two three shout jesus i command altars i command yokes be broken now be broken now my god every altar tying down your destiny bring them out i cause it now i cause it now causes yokes of ancestry yokes connected to bloodline yokes release them now release them now release them now open your mouth in one minute and begin to pray i declare my liberty from every planting and every influence bring them out please every planting that is not of god over my life pray every fraternity with any spirit that is not of the christ i announce and i declare my liberty let them go now I rebuke that spirit release them now release them now hallelujah now please look at me I'm still ministering deliverance negative patterns and negative cycles it comes and then it comes again it comes and then it comes again I'm seeing at least 25 people father I don't know where they are these spirits that cause repetition of negative patterns at the count of three shout Jesus and your deliverance comes one my God two three shout Jesus be free be free be free negative patterns tying your family tying individuals bringing them to states where they recycle pain where they recycle shame where they recycle negative conditions be free hallelujah I'm seeing the anointing of the Holy Spirit go to the worship team and the Lord is telling me I have answered your prayer I don't know who that is I have answered your prayer this is what God is saying I have answered your prayer may that anointing rest upon that person it is between you and God you know what you have been asking him for but the Lord is saying I have answered your prayer 
and what he says to one he says to all let me prophesy over someone who has been praying over a long-standing issue in the name of jesus what he has done for our brother or sister there may it be extended to you right now the power of witchcraft negative dreams negative experiences in the name of jesus repetitive experiences negative experiences i command those spirits now let them go let god's people go release them now please stretch your hands towards me you are about to receive in the realm of the spirit and it will manifest between now for some of you even this night that is outside of you will see people come to testify here i'm saying it to you because i'm, I'm just it just distracted me in this vision i'm looking at what looks like a box and then i'm seeing it being given to people that's why i said stretch my hands in the name of jesus i stretch my hands back at you prophetically receive that which god has for you for some of you it's a job receive it hallelujah there is someone here you have been trying to buy a house the house you are negotiating the person to sell it for you the price you have been trusting that they bring it down this is one of your major concerns please hear me you will come and stand here and testify because something will happen this night in the name of jesus christ i pray for all of you who are who came out here in front every foul spirit that has oppressed you in the name of jesus be released now never to return in jesus name i pray amen and amen let's pray for the sick now the lord is bringing healing for the last two weeks i've been hearing a name in fact it made me read it because you know i just said is it for me or whatever it is i've not really known so much about it cholesterol that word high cholesterol and i had to go and sit down and i've heard about it passively you know but i had to go and study it and i kept hearing it even up until this afternoon as i prayed is one of the areas of healing god wants to bring for people i had to study it to know what what does it mean to say someone has high cholesterol because some of those things are death sentences i'm not a medical doctor but doctors here will tell you let's start with that and then every other area of sickness please if you are standing in for someone now is your chance whether you are standing in the hospital i know there are people in so many hospitals right now with patients following i want you to connect i'm about to pray for the sick i believe in the healing power of jesus but particularly i don't know those who have suffered from this high cholesterol issue probably you've gone to the hospital and they've told you or maybe the the symptoms have been around the lord began to speak this into my ears and as we pray i want you to believe you came with a sick person now is your time to receive and remember like i taught us here it is not only bodily infirmity for some of you you've lost a loved one you are trusting god to heal some negative experience in your life that has tied you down and you cannot move forward you had an accident and right now you can't move forward you are afraid of buying a car you are afraid of moving you lost a child you had a miscarriage and you are afraid of starting again again is a very powerful word again means in spice of again place your hand right now and let's pray everyone who is trusting God for a miracle if you're standing in for your loved one any part of your body at all now is your chance 
As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing. Jesus, I believe. Hallelujah. I know I'm ministering healing, but there is someone here. They stole from you. It's like something happened. Thieves or somebody stole from you a business you are doing. And since that time, you have not moved forward again. Where is the person? Come. I'm praying for the sick now. Please make sure you understand what I'm saying. We're still praying for the sick. Don't be distracted. They stole from you. I know that most people may be coming out, but this person I'm talking about, they stole something significant from you and your life just went down like that. There are at least seven people right now as i'm seeing in my vision while i'm this i'm waiting for the other people to come but there are at least seven people the power of god is coming upon them you, the the fear you have is not just the regular fear for the unknown this is the spirit of fear right now i command that spirit by the power that raised christ from the dead and in the name of jesus christ be delivered from fear now i cast that spirit out of your life i don't male female it has stopped you from taking daring steps you are afraid of everything you know it's an unusual fear be delivered from the spirit of fear now Let me pray for those who are here in front very quickly. Madam, what do you do? Huh? I was a teacher, I retired. Uh, uh, a minister oh. of God also, but my, I don't know how you explain it in the congregation. Mm, it's all right, madam. I understand. I'm going to pray for you. Listen, please look at me. God is able to restore time and God is able to restore things. He can restore the years but he can also restore things. I don't know what it is that was stolen from you. We're praying for the sick. But I want to pray for you. Some of you have cried. Some of you is money. Some of you is opportunity. All kinds of things. But I want to pray for you. You came for miracle service. I'm seeing a mystery. The right hand of many of you shaking supernaturally. By the spirit of god i don't know why i'm sensing even that fire on my own hands lord jesus restore 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 it doesn't matter who did what i'm placing an anointing upon you restore help mama restore in the name of jesus everything that has been stolen that brought you down and from that time you've not been able to move forward I prophesy to you go forward now go forward now go forward now go forward now the door is open before you go forward now hear me help this man when it is time to pray for destiny help us please make sure you open up your spirit because all blessings come from God but they come through man to you hallelujah I decree and declare any virtue that was taken from you spiritually negative soul ties demonic things that have tied you down so you cannot move forward 
Shapakatakata. Ebra tasko de balata. I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. Be delivered now. Wasters of destiny. Stealers of glory. I command a restoration now. And a separation from these spirits. Go and excel. For some of you, it will not be up to one month. God will restore you back. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Please return to your seat. We are praying for the sick. Lay your hands. Please help mama. Just, just help her. If you are standing in for someone, whether you are inside or outside, following across the globe, I'm about to pray for the sick right now. Believe in miracles. Jesus heals. He truly, truly heals. Miracles are real. They are not uh, stage managed. No. Lay your hands and let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. Now here's what will happen. Please look at me. Just a quick instruction. It is important to testify of the wonder-working power of God. Tonight, we are not only going to allow those who have been healed to come. Everybody who has been imparted by this, you've been delivered. A change has happened in your life supernaturally. Something miraculous has happened right now. Now, listen to me. Many of you will be very surprised to see what has happened in your life. And you have your evidence here. Let me pray for the sick. And then I am going to give you two or three minutes. We'll only take a limited number of people. But as many who have been touched. I know that everybody has been touched. But any striking, notable miracle including that which is about to happen i want you to come and stand in front here or here will give you an opportunity to testify and then please listen many of you miss the remaining part of this service impartation and prophetic decrees are a major part of the miracle service you hear people come and testify not everybody is sick god may not call everybody's name and then we are constrained by time when you want to have extended meetings like this, it will take a long time to be able to minister. But everybody should receive in the presence of God. And so please, if you are coming out, make sure that there is no delay. I'm going to be praying for the sick, but even if right now you know that the power of God has touched you, you've been delivered, it is still all right for you to start coming out so that we'll save time. But I want to pray for the sick. Remember what I told you about the woman with the issue of blood. You reach out by faith. You receive and then you check yourself doing what you couldn't do. The moment you find out that there's a miracle, I want you to run and come very quickly. Father, in the name of Jesus, the spirit that is back of any and all infirmities, health conditions, emotional conditions, spiritual conditions that are manifesting as illnesses in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare be healed now be healed now blood conditions be healed now high blood pressure go down now and by the way if you need to quickly go and check yourself we have a medical stand there very trained professional doctors lab technicians and all of that so you can do well and someone if you need to check yourself say a miracle has happened and you want to verify you do that we make sure that we only announce miracles that are verified because we're ministering to the entire globe are we together right now in the name of jesus christ eye conditions be healed now ear conditions be healed in the name of jesus anyone who could not walk i declare by the power of the holy spirit begin to walk now you could not stand begin to stand now you could not move any part of your body begin to move it now in the name of jesus every lump every growth in any part of your body 
I decree and declare that it disappears now by the power of the Holy Spirit any terminal illness whether here or across the hospitals connecting in the name of Jesus I bring you life and healing in the name of Jesus Christ blood conditions be healed now there's a woman I'm seeing in a vision you have pains all over your body you can't tell exactly what it is but your joint pain you know how someone who is a sickler sickle cell anemia you know when they have this crisis that's how you feel perpetually it's like your body is hot there's just pain from head to toe the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing someone you had a dream and in that dream you saw that there was something wrong with the left part of your breast and you are already being you are already afraid because you've been sensing pains and a spirit has been ministering to you that most likely this is cancer by the power that raised Christ from the dead be healed right now be healed right now the Lord is showing me an interesting case there's someone your is like your feet I don't know if it is rotting at the edges don't feel embarrassed i don't know if it's like something sort of like a fungal infection affecting your toes and this is something that is terrible and embarrassing you are even tired of it you've tried to treat it and it's not going in the name of jesus i declare be healed now joint pains pains around your joints in the name of jesus be healed lumbar spondylosis in the name of Jesus be healed be healed there's someone you went to the hospital and they told you something is wrong with your brain I don't know if it's cancer or a tumor or something literally in your brain I'm declaring to you right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead you shall not die you shall not die you shall not die hallelujah the Lord is showing me a vision. I'm seeing a woman, you are following from the United Kingdom. You are with your five-year-old son in front of you. And I, I don't know if it's autism or something that makes him hyperactive. You are standing for a miracle for him. In the name of Jesus Christ, right from here in Nigeria, I decree and declare, may the power of God touch that person. I pray for all those who are connecting, trusting God for healing across the nations of the earth. In the name of Jesus, be healed right now. Now, whether I mention your name or not, right now, I want you to check yourself and do what you couldn't do. I declare healing. If it's your arm, move it right now. If it's your neck, move it, your head. If you need to go to the medical stand to check yourself, the moment you find out that the power of God has taught you, along those, alongside those who either fell on the anoint, on, under the anointing or had some kind of breakthrough the moment you have a testimony please you can begin to come out right now check yourself very quickly let's celebrate them as they come don't be ashamed don't be afraid while that is happening while that is happening if you are yet to submit your prayer request wave it wave it let the usher see concurrent okay please wave it ushers make sure that you quickly collect the request just be patient wave it and an usher will be here and if you want to quickly write please just write very quickly those who have been healed those who have received miracles please don't distract them whether from the overflow outside the basement make your way very quickly and come in now make your way very quickly let's celebrate them as they come make your way very quickly and come make your way very quickly check yourself and those who are following from hospitals the power of god has touched you you fell under the anointing you were delivered something supernatural and miraculous happened to you i want you very quickly you can send in your testimonies our media team pr team are here to receive you in the name of jesus those who are coming from outside please allow them very quickly let's have a few testimonies in the name of jesus christ there is a woman i'm seeing um your lower the lower part of your abdomen i want you to check it there was something like a a swelling there and right now it's gone 
you can you can check it and come and testify to the goodness of god very quickly if you are coming out please come quickly so that we move to the next the next section hallelujah yes please are we ready let me just know if we have a few testimonies hallelujah praise the lord yes sir awesome. thank you sir so uh we have a few testimonies coming in um so this is brother what's his name sir? my name is victory just a moment sir there is a gentleman outside you cannot walk very well with your left leg i don't know if you are using a crutch or you are just feeling discomfort but i want you to check it now i just saw the power of god touching you outside there is a mighty miracle for you in the name of jesus christ yes sir all right sir. so for three days he's been actually having a restriction in his chest okay yeah for like three days now my chest has been paining me each time i try to breathe i cannot take a deep breath so after the um, offerings and um, testimonies the moment the man of god took the mic as i just heard his voice i became better like i can breathe properly right now breathe in and out in and out in the name of jesus it never returns to you Amen. by the power of the holy spirit yes please all right so the next testimony please come down is there someone with the name Affiniki? I just heard that name, Affiniki. There is a miracle that the Lord is bringing for that person. Yes, sir. Please go ahead. All right, sir. So, Apostle, she had an accident. You had an accident? Yes. And for the past three years. I had an accident, and after the accident, I had a dislocated wrist. So, for three years. So uh, it was treated, but I had some restrictions with the hand, and the pain was severe if I tried to move it more. All but right. Immediately you were preaching, even before the prayer started, I just heard the relief. Check yourself. I just Any pain? Are you celebrating Jesus? Okay, I told you that health in one word is liberty. In Jesus' name, it never returns amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen and amen. Yes, sir. Affiniki, can I pray for you? There is a miracle that God is bringing first in your body and then your life, your family. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands and I pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let there be a supernatural testimony for you. Everything that has held you down, I'm seeing you crying. In the name of Jesus, weep not for the lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed. I bring you life and healing. You will come and stand before God's people and testify. God is turning everything around. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, sir. So, Apostle, we have a very interesting testimony here. Yes, sir. So, for the past 10 years. 10 years? 10 years. He's actually been having a strange itching. A strange itch. Okay. Straight to the point. Okay. It has been a long time ago. I, I can't remember exactly, but 2010, 2011. So it was one afternoon, I started feeling fever. Anytime I start feeling sick, I have short of blood. So they will not take me to blood. They say medicine called reference 12. If they give me the medicine, I will come back to normal strength. And it will not take time, like within a year, I will still have short of blood again. Yes. So later on, the crashing started. It will crash me, but it will stop. It will crash me and it will stop. So once what happened time, now? So when I came here, I have saw you in my dream healing me three times. But when I come to Kononia, I feel somehow because it nothing come. I see people falling on the mountain. I say, God, why me? Where do you so, feel where do you feel the itch? Your hands or all over yeah, your I body? I see the inch. And now that it comes, it's all over my body. It happened for the first time all over my body. It started happening in particular places. So now it's happened all over my body this month. So I saw you healing me in my dream three mm. times before. What happened to you now? So when I came to the service, I have to fall under nothing three times the same way I saw you in my dream healing me. And right now, Everything left. it's gone. Yes, sir. Let's give Jesus praise. It will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Chronic pain in the chest as a result of ulcer. Ulcer. Yes. And right the power now, of God came upon him and his whole down. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, you please. gave word of knowledge about a woman with pain all over her body. Yes. She has had it for the past four years. So difficulty in standing. But now... How she... long, madam? Conservatively, over four years. Over four years. So, as I came for this 
uh, miracle service. I just told myself, I said, I, I really want to be part of it, and I like to stand and do my worship. But I just noticed I've been standing since I came, and uh, and the I'm pain thinking, is not there. Uh, then when you were administering, you know, the word came that uh, joint pain and spondylosis, and these were the uh, specific words the doctors used used for you. And right now, check yourself. Any pain? Let's celebrate Jesus. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Are we ready? Difficulty in breathing as a result of pneumonia, but now he can breathe in and out. Pneumonia. Yes, sir. In Please. the name of Jesus, we rebuke pneumonia. It leaves you never to return again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Quickly, who is ready? Yes, sir. All right, sir. So, sir, we, you gave a word of knowledge concerning the, the lumbar. Wow. The pain. So yes. I've had it since 2016. Yes, I had sir. a diagnosis done in 2018. The exact words, lumbar spondylosis. So right now I can bend, I can move around. Bend, bend now. Any pain? Any pain? Koinonia, are you celebrating Jesus? In the name of Jesus, it will never return again by the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. So Apostle, these amazing women, um, you gave a word of knowledge concerning people that had dreams. Yes, you know, sir. Um, whether a lump or a pain in yes, the chest, yes. in the breast, so three of them. All three of them. Praise the Lord. I, I had a dream. I have a lump in that dream, and it burst out. It was smelling. I woke up not too long. I started developing lump. Like four years now, I went to the hospital last week, um, last two a week ago. They said they will remove the whole breast. I said no. I ran to God, and this is my first miracle service. When daddy was reading the, the book of um, Jeremiah, yes. God gave me that same scripture. I was abandoned from the Muslim house. They, don't, they thought that nothing will write on my back. It, all the word was for me today, and I strongly believe I will not live here with this Lord. And when daddy was declaring, I, had, I, I was imagining thunder flowing in my breast. Later, I had a broom, and he affected my back and my neck as if they lose rope from the room. I believe God has touched me. Place your hand on your chest, my dear. In the name of Jesus, I release you. Now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, it will never return again. I declare that they will not have to do anything over your body. A miracle has happened to you, and it remains so in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Just last night, I, I slept and dreamed that my mother had breast cancer and she was so sick and she was dying. And it was like it was me, it was her. And within the week, I've had a, a lump in my armpits that I thought it was a boil and I took drugs for it. So while you were praying and you said that, I just laid my hand on my chest and the power of God fell on me. It will never return to you again in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Yes, please. God bless you. Sometimes last week, I had um, a sharp pain on my left breast. Then I now dreamt later that it, now, it was now cancerous, that my, my two breasts were now cancerous. So I woke up and I started praying. Then you gave the word of knowledge and the pain is actually gone. Let me pray for everyone here. The spirit of cancer, whether for you or for your loved ones, I release my faith with you. Don't say it comes with old age. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that thing will never find expression in your body. And hear me, if, if we have people here, I know from a medical standpoint, they say there are people who have a history or it's, you know, it's, it's like it's hereditary. In the name of Jesus, whether cancer or any spirit that is transferred by blood, that it happens to everybody in the family, in the name of Jesus, because you are here tonight, I break that cycle finally. And any negative dream you have had as to anything that relates to sickness in your body, it remains a dream. It remains a dream. It will never find expression in your life. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, sir. Okay, so that's, that's it for her. Okay, let me take, go ahead. Apostle, mama has had diabetes for the past three years. Three years? Uh, yes. Now, one of the symptoms is that she cannot see from afar 
But now I asked her, she said she can see you. And then they have gone to check for the medical stand. She's sound now. Hallelujah. Are you celebrating Jesus? How long was this, ma? Three years. Three years. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you are completely delivered. Yes, please. Pain in the heart, abdomen for the past two weeks. She has had difficulty in urinating, but she said she was just coming from the convenience now. And she's okay. She was able to urinate. Every demonic thing, I curse it right now. In the name of Jesus, I told you health in one word is liberty. I declare be free completely in Jesus' name. Yes, please. She had an accident two weeks ago. You made mention of someone. She who had an accident. Fold, what is in the photo? Her. That's the yes. accident? Yes. Now she can fold her fingers now. What could she you couldn't do? She do that. Let, let her talk. I cannot fold my hand. I was going to walk. I'm a police officer. I fall in a bike. I just saw myself on the ground. My waist, if I pull up my body now, people will run. And I just feel my hand. I cannot move my hand. I didn't discuss it with anybody. I've been praying with my father, my brother. I'm Nantel from Lanta. I've oh been my praying God. with in NSPPT. I said, this is not my portion. My oh father my will deliver me anywhere I'm coming from. And right now, what and happened to you? Check I'm yourself. My oh my God. My Are you celebrating Jesus? Lift your hands. I stretch my hands over you and in the name of Jesus, oppression will not arise the second time. And for any part of your body that has been injured, you saw the scripture, God will heal you from your wounds. I declare, let there be healing right now. In Jesus' name I pray. You gave a word of knowledge yes. of disappearance of Lom. She has gone to check Lom disappear. Lom? Lom, gone. How long? Two weeks. For the past two weeks, have you been in the name of Jesus, you are free right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Our growth in the abdomen, she has got to check, disappeared too. Growth in the yes. abdomen. Yes. For how long, my dear? Like three years. Three years. Yes. You are sure you've checked it? Yes. In the name you've of Jesus, it, it will sir. never return to you again. Yes, sir. So, sir, she came in here. She's had pains, 10 years, toilet infection. 10 years? 10 years, toilet infection. No, that is a demonic <laughs> issue. You now see the difference between a medical condition and a spirit. A medical condition will easily respond to drugs because the leaves are for the healing of the nations. The moment it unnecessarily defies the attendance of medicine, then a spirit has come to be part of it. Not every discomfort is necessarily the presence of a spirit. It is the, sometimes it can be the normal wear and tear of just having a human body. But when that is so, food, vitamins, and some medical attention should easily attend to it. The moment you see that your headache does not respond to good food, good rest, Panadol is a spirit. A spirit has come behind that headache. So you don't just use Panadol, you cast it out. Are we together now? Ten years infection. Yes. Don't cry, my dear. Straight to the point, huh? Okay. In the name of Jesus, the Lord has seen you. He has seen your heart. In the name of Jesus, your testimony remains permanent. In Jesus' name, she's overwhelmed. God bless you. Hallelujah. Apostle, she had a, a growth here and it dissolved. Completely. How long? Um, I had it June last year. He first disappeared in December, then he came back. But now it's gone completely. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. So again, for her, sir, she had a strange growth here. Yes, my head. There's something moving as if it's stone. As loud as you can, my dear. Something is moving in my head like stone, as if I would mad, I would get mad. And as you pray, I just fell under the anointing and the thing left. Where are you coming from? From Benway State. Everything that is not of God. And any human agent in partnership with demon spirits, in the name of Jesus, what happened to her man? What happened to Gehazi? It will happen to them. Anybody who has vowed to walk in partnership with Satan that you will not find rest in the name of Jesus I pray may the fire of judgment from heaven it must land upon them You are set free my dear free from every demonic thing Ah, Hold on. No, I'm not done with this lady lift your hands. Look at me. I just saw something looking like a snake in the name of Jesus Release this lady now by the power that raised Christ from the dead my dear, I declare total deliverance for you. I cut you away from anything 
associated with demons or causes in your family you are free now and free forever in jesus name amen god bless you next person please okay sir all of them they've all had pains pains in the head. pains so, several pains okay come so quickly just tell us my mine is uh, this i have chest pain yes for the past four years now based on the, the work i normally do and you've been healed right now yes. in the name of Jesus you and all those who have suffered all and various kinds of pains I bring you life and I bring you healing in the name of Jesus Amen. for the sake of time um, do we have any any other striking testimony let's just have one yes sir go ahead sir praise the Lord my leg has been itching me for the past since 2018 your leg underneath my feet has been itching me so when you prayed for fungal, I still, when, if I apply pressure to my leg, I will feel the itchy. So I kept on praying. And then I even had to remove my bag to use the pin to choke the leg. Because whenever I do that, it itches. The pain sees. At the escalator, I, I itched my leg. You oh, went now and it's gone. It's gone. Celebrate Jesus. It's gone. It will never return to you again, my dear. Amen. You are free and completely free. Let's take one or two here and then we'll get straight to... The request from the PR line, you gave a word of knowledge of somebody streaming in the UK. A boy who is five years old, he couldn't hear. But when you gave that one word of knowledge, they said he hear pop open and he can hear now. All the way from they the United Kingdom. The PR line. Hallelujah! Are you giving Jesus praise? Listen, our global family. It's important for you to understand, like I said earlier on, that time and distance is not an advantage in the realm of the spirit. It's only an advantage in this realm. Your miracle is at the instance of your faith. Once your faith can connect to the power of God, then the limits have been taken away. So I'm praying specially for those who are following from across the globe. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let there be all kinds of miracles, all kinds of breakthroughs, all kinds of restorations for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, please. Movement in the body for the past seven years. For the past seven years. Yes. With pain. Now she gave the word and the power of God came upon her. She fell and the pain is no more there. How long? Seven years. More than even seven years. Where are you coming from? Uganda. Okay. What happened to you? So you, you, I was standing there and I'm feeling the normal pain. Pain moving all over my body. So you said somebody has pain. Like, um. Yes. So I just fell under the anointing, and when I got up, I couldn't feel it. Completely. Yes. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Sent the movement to you for the past two weeks. For the past two weeks? Yeah, I had like, a, I could feel like a heaviness in my stomach. Okay, and it's gone now. In the name of Jesus, it will never return by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. So, Apostle, we need to hear this. Please. We need to hear this and also see something very interesting. So first, let's hear the first testimony. Yes. From Kenny. All right, Daddy, you mentioned, you mentioned while you were speaking that people will get healed of breast lump. Someone from Switzerland was healed of two years of breast lump. Breast lump Are you celebrating Jesus? Two years healed completely. We also have somebody from Ghana with an abdominal growth disappeared. We also have another person from Ghana, back pain of six months healed. Completely. We also, we also have another one from Ghana, healed from leg pain. Praise Our God. Ghana family it seems like they are really opening up to connect by faith. In the name of Jesus Christ, your healing remains permanent. Yes, sir. Then, Apostle, we need to hear this one. Go ahead. <laughs> you know, you know, he's he's saying what he's saying is found in Acts chapter eight, from verse five and six. Acts chapter eight, from verse five and six. Our time is gone. But what it says is that Peter, I mean, Philip went down to Samaria and preached Christ. And the Bible says the people with one accord, they gave heed to the things which he spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. You both hear and see if it is the power of God. Yes, sir. And you give a word of knowledge about someone's left toe. That's my elder brother. Someone's left toe. Yes. His oh, legs, dear. His legs before. And I keyed him for him. I called him immediately and he told me that after he finished speaking with my younger brother, he received my God and he Look at that. Can you see that? Look at that. 
Yes, that was before. And immediately I called him. He sent me a picture right now that a leg has dropped. Look at it right now. I will worship him forever, love him forever because In the name of Jesus, that miracle remains permanent. That's an extraordinary miracle. We give Jesus praise. It will never return again in Jesus' name. Let's have this as a last one very quickly. She's a medical doctor, so she wants to. Okay. Um, She's a medical doctor? Okay, go ahead. For intermittently over the years, I found that I have this tightness around my head. And so I've been having forgetfulness. It's easy to cover up at work and people don't know. I would wake up and there's as if there's a band holding my head very tightly. Mm. When we started praying, I just started feeling as if it was getting loose, getting released. And finally, when you pray just now, um, before I came out, in fact, that was a problem it's come out, that um, you prayed against everything about cancer. It's as if something just left my head and hit the ground. Before I would feel a heaviness in my head, if I shake my head, but now if I shake it, I can't even feel anything. My head Give Jesus praise. In the name of Jesus, you are perfected, healed forever. And every other miracle, whether announced or not, in Jesus' name, we declare that it remains permanent. Please rise up on your feet and stretch your hands here. I'd like you to begin to declare by faith, like the woman with the issue of blood. In the name of Jesus, this is my moment. Can you stretch your hands and pray if you believe in the God that answers prayers? The Bible says, unto him that answers prayers shall all flesh come. Go ahead and pray as i bow my knees to pray you just believe by faith i'm praying now go ahead go ahead declare i would always say that this is the most accurate representation of your desires the bible says what things soever ye desire it says when ye pray believe that thou receivest it someone is praying lord this oppression will never return again turn my story change my life give me a testimony if someone praying connect me to strategic helpers go ahead in the next two minutes let the mighty god arise even over the issue of concern give you a testimony in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ now i'm going to pray and speak over this i just sensed again in my heart to just call our father up and to just make one fatherly declaration we are made by the food we eat and the words we receive said Jesus Jesus said man shall not live by bread alone but that he can live he should live by food and words hallelujah father in the name of Jesus I decree and declare over these requests 
I declare that the God of heaven will arise on your case. The God of heaven will arise on your case. In the name of Jesus. Finally, your laughter arrives. I say it again. Finally, your laughter arrives. Everything that represents sadness here, in the name of Jesus, we drive it like smoke before the wind. Finally, your laughter arrives. Finally, your breakthrough arrives. In the name of Jesus Christ. For many of you, the deliverer has a reason for you. And what you will be counting are testimonies after testimonies after tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I speak over your life in Jesus' name that these Egyptians you see today, you will see no more forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, let's receive. That is the first thing we should receive from his life. That this is 84 years and standing. Koinonia, raise your voice and say, Thank you, Jesus. For the word of God says, what things soever you desire. What things soever. What things soever. I'm looking at what things soever here. So, over this prayer request, I decree and declare under the anointing of this house, the man of God in this house, I decree and declare your requests are answered. Yes. The louder amen you shout, the more it will happen for you. And so, the month of June has opened to you before June. Let's celebrate him hallelujah praise the name of the lord why do we speak over people listen why do we speak over people once and again i learned this from our fathers of faith especially in this nation you see it in the life of our father and the lord daddy geo you see it in the life of our father and the lord bishop david oedipo and every father of faith those words you see that they speak over people have turned ordinary people into signs and wonders we are made you see let me tell you the word is like a tray it does not just come empty if you ask me to bring water i will usually put it on a tray the moment you see the tray coming you begin to rejoice because no responsible person sends an empty tray to you a tray is always carrying something that tray is the word spoken through the lips of faith that when it comes it carries supernatural virtues that if you receive by faith your life will change in a way that will surprise you i'm about to speak over your life this is a major part of the miracle service we are made by the words we receive in the name of jesus let me start from where our father stopped even before june i prophesy june open up for god's people june open up for god's people in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit everything your eyes have seen but your hand is yet to handle let this be the season where your hand will take possession let this be the season where your hand will take possession in the name of jesus there, there is a relationship between laughter and victory no man steps into the realm of victory and then does not laugh I decree and declare another word for saying you are walking in victory is to say this season is your season of laughter 
laughter in the morning laughter in the afternoon laughter in the night everything that makes for shame and sadness by the power that raised Christ from the dead let it be far from your life Mary said how shall these things be seeing that I know not a man how shall I have this business seeing that I know not any destiny helper how shall I excel in Abuja in Lagos in Jos in Maiduguri in Europe in US in Asia seeing that I don't have anyone my prayer for you is the reply of angel Gabriel the power of the highest shall overshadow you the power of the highest shall overshadow you the power of the highest shall overshadow you in the name of Jesus Christ hear me the moment the power of the highest overshadowed Mary it was possible to give birth every time the power of the highest overshadows you you will always give birth to something a vision a dream a new experience therefore I decree and declare that which must be born from you in this season give birth safely do you believe in the grace for favor hmm. yes sir yes sir I will keep speaking over your life till the favor of God becomes a signature grace upon your life I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ favor with God and favor with men receive it favor with God and favor with men receive it favor with God and favor with men receive it every destiny helper anointed by God in this season to locate you and to hold your hands as you rise whether in the area of career whether in the place of raising your children whether in your home and your marriage whether in your spiritual life everything delaying that destiny helper I cause that spirit to give way now and then I prophetically release the helpers of your destiny to your life may they locate you may they bless you may they lift you in the name of Jesus Christ hear me the spirit that makes you labor for things and when it's time to enjoy them it is taken away from you I decree and declare every good thing you start with your hand you will see the end of it with your eyes in the mighty name of Jesus let me pray for your health the spirit that is roaming across Nigeria and Africa bringing mysterious sicknesses upon people you will see healthy looking people but in two three days something just brings them down I stand in partnership with the grace upon our father if at 84 he's still jumping like a young man then in the name of Jesus we who are his children we stand here by faith and I decree and declare enjoy health enjoy health enjoy health enjoy health enjoy health physical health mental health financial health where you have been called rejected where you have been called an outcast oh Zion I decree and declare by the power help him in the name that is above all names this is the season where men will look for you in the morning they will look for you in the afternoon they will look for you in the nights they will look for you and they will not come empty they will come with their treasures like the magi they will come with gold they will come with frankincense they will come with man to honor you in the name of Jesus Christ thou shalt not be afraid of the arrow that flies by day every arrow roaming across from altars to destinies I declare minus you I say it again minus you minus your family 
minus your business minus your destiny minus your health no power will cut short your life before your time in the name of jesus christ finally i pray for you there is a grace that rests upon a man that can cause that man to be passionate about the things of god when that grace rests upon you you will not struggle to pray you will not struggle to study you will not struggle to have time with god i don't know where you have been struggling in your spiritual life but i stretch my hands as one who has been shown mercy by god i decree and declare fresh fire upon your prayer altar the discipline to wake up and pray receive it the discipline to pray through till you break through receive it the grace to pray with answers receive it number two i pray for your word study life every lukewarmness and spiritual laziness in the name of jesus i cast it from your life receive the grace to be passionate for the word number three anything fighting your zeal for the house of god i bring it under arrest right now in the name of jesus finally i pray for you any association and any human vessel programmed by the devil to loiter around your life and stop you from entering your glorious destiny in the name of jesus prophetically from this altar i bring a separation now groups associations people i break you free from them may the grace for honor rest upon you go and shine go and excel i say it again go and shine go and excel hear me let nigeria open for you let europe open for you let america open for you let abuja open for you let the six geopolitical zones open for you everywhere you need to be to serve the purposes of god i declare the grace for visibility that will take you there may that grace rest upon you in the name of jesus christ wave your hands to jesus and thank him for tonight like the woman with the issue of blood you're waving your hands in thanksgiving lord i will surely return with my testimony i am in a season where you are visiting me giving me mighty and marvelous encounters hallelujah hallelujah before we wrap up i know our time is spent but i want you to pray in one minute even though i've spoken over your life father june is the sixth month i decree and declare we are stepping into half of the year from january to may anything you said should come into my life and it's not yet there i release my faith in the name of jesus i'm entering into the season of those supplies those spiritual supplies go ahead and pray pray in one minute january february march april may the month of june will be a month where you will give me rest roundabout rest roundabout in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny. Salas kade bashka na kata branda kete kato. Kete branda kata bako tosko to break kete kete kata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.